welcome back to another episode of Cricut Design Space Basics. I'm Laura of Laura's Crafty Life. Today we're talking about using offset in Cricut Design Space. The offset feature creates a layer that's proportionately smaller or larger than your design. You can use this feature on both images and text. Offset is most often used to create a shadow or outline around your design. I use them most often to create stickers with my Cricut. Start by opening a new project in Cricut Design Space. Click on Images and add any image to your canvas. Offset works with both print and cut designs and regular cut designs. To use the offset tool, start by clicking on the image that you want to add a shadow or outline to. Click on the image and then click on Offset. From here, you can use the slider or type in your measurement for the amount of outline that you would like. The largest offset you can use is one inch from all edges. You can also set the corners to be rounded or squared off depending on the look that you're going for. Once you have everything set, click Apply. You can easily change the color of the offset by clicking on the offset layer and then changing the color box next to the drop down under operation. I usually choose white when making stickers, but occasionally I'll want a background for the sticker with a different color. You can play around with this feature to completely change the look of your sticker. So right now your offset and your image are two separate layers. If you're going to make stickers, you want to select both the offset and the image, making sure that the offset is behind your image, and then click Flatten. This will combine the two into one print and cut image, and then you can go ahead and make it as a sticker. Sometimes when you're adding an offset, you'll end up with a space you don't want. You can see here there's a little gap. So there's two ways to fix this. You can either make your offset bigger until it fills in those spaces, but sometimes you don't want that big of a border on your design. To fix this without making the border or outline bigger, you will click on the offset layer and then click on the contour tool and then click on any holes that you see. You can see here now there's no more hole. Another cool feature you can use with the offset tool is to create a pattern behind your design. To do this, you're going to change the offset layer from basic cut to print then cut. And then in the color box, you're going to change it from color to pattern. And then you can choose any pattern you like to go behind your image. This can give you a completely different look when you're creating stickers. And now you'll see when we click make it, we have the two stickers ready to be print and cut. You can also use the offset tool when you're adding text. So click on the text button, add your text, and then click on the offset button. Again, you can change the size of the offset using the slider or entering in your measurements. You can see here when I added the text that there's now a new selection called Weld Offsets. Weld Offsets are selected by default when you add a text box, a design with multiple layers, or multiple objects are selected. When this is selected, it will merge all the layers for the selected objects. If you want to work with each offset layer separately, unclick the box next to Weld Offsets. So I'll show you how this works. With Weld Offsets, you have your text and then the text offset. So we'll undo that. We'll do offset, uncheck weld offsets, and then click apply. So now you can see there is a separate offset layer for each individual letter of text. This would work the same way if you have an image with multiple layers. Most of the time when you're making stickers, you're going to want to have it checked for weld offset, but there could be instances where you need each offset separate. Just like with images, you can change the color of your offset layer. So you'll click on the layer and then go to the little box and click on whatever color you want. And then again here you'll see there's a little hole 
and you may not want it to cut a hole there if you're making a sticker. So you'll click on the layer, click on contour, and then click on that little hole. And once again, if you're making a sticker, you would select both layers and click flatten. One thing to note when using the offset tool is that once you click apply, you can no longer edit it. So I'll show you what I mean. If we're adding our text box here like before, and we click offset, you can see here when I click offset, I can change how large the outline is, whether the corners are rounded or squared, and whether or not each individual letter gets its own offset. But once I click apply, the offset is now its own layer and it can't be edited anymore. If you go and want to try to change it, if you click offset, all that will happen is you will be creating another offset around your original one. So if you make a mistake, you can either click undo or you can click on your offset layer and delete it and start over. You can also use the offset tool with any of the shapes that are provided with Cricut Design Space. All of these are free. And then if you have a Cricut Access subscription, you can use any of these new shapes. So there are a lot of designs that you can choose from. So for example, you could choose a star and then add an offset, and then you can continue adding offsets to create whatever design you want. Um, and then you can go back and change each of the colors. And again, if you want to make a sticker out of this design, you want to select your original design or shape, and then each of the offsets, and then click flatten. Hopefully this video helped answer all of your questions about the offset tool and how to use it to make stickers or create a shadow or outline around your designs or text. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. Check back and subscribe to my channel for more Cricut Design Space Basics tutorials. Mm -hmm.